Hi everybody, this is Markus, DL8 MRE. I'd like to introduce you to my app, Smartest Air for the Mac. My app is a full-featured Flex Radio client for your Mac. You no longer need a Windows PC to operate your Flex Radio. Using my app, you can even install firmware updates on your radio or set up SmartLink for remote access. My app already integrates FT8, FT4, RTTY, a logbook, a CW keyer with local side tone, DX cluster and much more. However, if you wish, you can still use your external software like WSTX or FADigi or other logging software because my app also provides the necessary interfaces like CAT, DAX or UDP data transfer. You can connect USB, Bluetooth, microphones or headsets. A hardware straight key or pedal or even a foot switch can also be connected. To use my app, you need a Flex Radio Flex 6000 Signature Series SDR transceiver. This could be an older 6500 or 6700 or one of the newer 6400 or 6600 models with or without front panel. And then you need of course a Mac. This could be a small and relatively inexpensive Mac Mini or an iMac, or a MacBook, or MacBook Pro. The Mac only needs to run at least macOS 10.15, which is Catalina. Ideally, it runs Big Sur. The CPU can be an Intel or a new M1 CPU. Should you plan to buy a new Mac, my suggestion would be the new M1 Mac Mini, which is about 700 US dollar. The new Mac Mini has the newest M1 CPU, and if you attach a 4K monitor to it, you have the perfect Mac for your shack. I'm using this combination for my daily QSOs. So, once you have your Flex Radio and a Mac, that's basically all you need. At home, you just need to connect your Flex Radio using a LAN cable to your local network. Your Mac can either use Wi-Fi or a LAN cable too. Then, just turn on your radio and your Mac, start my app, and you are immediately ready to start your QSO. Even if you want to remote access your own radio or another radio, for example, of your buddy or the club station, no extra hardware or software is needed. Now let's have a look to SmartSDR for the Mac in action. After starting the app and clicking on Connect, the app finds all your radios on your network. You just need to double-click to connect. Next, you see the familiar pan adapter and radio control panel on the right side, just like for every smart SDR software on any platform. There are various possibilities for frequency tuning. You can use your mouse for tuning by dragging or moving the slice or fine tune using the mouse scroll wheel. If you prefer knobs, you can even use a Flex Radio Flex control or a MIDI controller like the DJ to go 2 or many others. These controllers just need to be connected via USB to your Mac and can be configured individually to your needs. For audio transmission, you can connect any USB or Bluetooth headset to your Mac. To my surprise, I found Apple AirPods Pro working pretty well and often much better than expensive legacy analog headsets. CQ from Delta Lima 8 Mike Romeo Echo. CQ from Delta Lima 8 Mike Romeo Echo. When looking closer to a pan adapter, you see the band limit and mode indicators, as well as spots from the included DX cluster or FDA tool. You can have multiple slices on a single pan adapter to listen on multiple frequencies on the same band. But you can also have up to 8 pan adapters to listen even on different bands at the same time. This is basically as if you would have multiple radios. For those of you who already own a software-defined radio like a flex radio, you already know how nice it is to get rid of all the cables. You no longer have CAT or audio cables, also you can place your radio close to your antenna and have just one network cable from your radio to your network. However, Smart SDR for Mac even goes one step further. The app integrates FT8, FT4, RTDY, CWX and a CW keyer with local side tone and a logbook.
This means that in addition, you have no driver issues with other software. Also, you don't need to care about any settings because all settings will be made automatically once you enter this desired mode. You just need to start your radio, start the app, and you can immediately have your QSO. But if you wish, you can still use external software. For this, the app integrates a virtual CAT cable supporting the Flex Radio or Kenwood CAT standard and a Hamlet compatibility. For audio, a virtual digital audio interface, DAX, is also included. And for external logging software, the app supports UDP data interfaces. Now let's see how this works with FT8. Once you start the integrated FT8 tool, you just need to click RX to start receiving. By clicking RX, there are more than 10 settings of the radio which will be set automatically for FT8. This includes the mode, FT8 frequency, RX TX bandwidth, DAX settings and so more. I personally often forgot and tried to work with FT8 and then I wonder why it is not working. After seeing the first station coming in, you can open a map or globe which shows the locations of these stations. To answer a CQ calling station, just double click on the station in the list and wait until you see the other station responding. With the exchange of the 73s at the end, the QSO is finished and should have been locked. So let's have a look to the integrated logbook. And here we see that the QSO has indeed been locked. Now let's see to whom we talk to. His name is Takis. Takis should not wait too long for his QSL, so I use the integrated LOTW integration to send him my QSL. Similar to FT8, the app also integrates RTDY. And there are several additional features, like DX cluster, which also generates spots on the pan adapter. PSK reporter is integrated that lets you monitor who else is receiving your signal. Besides CW and RTDY macros, the app also integrates voice macros, if we wish, even with text-to-speech. An audio recording is also possible. The app also includes sophisticated alerts for call sign, countries, CQ or ITU zones on specific bands. Alerts are monitored on FT8, RTTY or the integrated DX cluster. Using alerts, you can even run multiple FT8 sessions on different bands simultaneously and watch out for your most wanted DXCC. And there is much more. And there is still more to come. The app is continuously updated. During the past year, there were more than 25 updates of course, with bug fixes, but also with several new features. The development of this app is driven by user requests and suggestions and myself, as I am using my app myself every day. For example, you can expect more Digi modes. The next version will get a WeatherFax or HFFax decoder, for instance. Since I'm no longer using any other logging software, you can expect further improvements of the logbook. I'm also already working on additional tools. And there are still several items on my to-do list, with user requests and own ideas that will get implemented over time. Smart SCI for the Mac can be purchased on the Mac App Store. The price is 160 US dollar. As with all MacOS or iOS apps, updates are always free of charge. There are no recurring costs and all features are included in this price. If you own more than one Mac, the app can be installed on multiple Macs without paying again. SmartSCR is also available on iOS. It is a separate app which runs on an iPad or even on an iPhone. The iOS app is available on the iOS App Store as separate purchase. I hope you enjoyed this introduction. In case of questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. 73. Bye bye.